You're welcome to the Zibby Show, and I'm your host, Z-I-B-B-Y is what I go by. That's like, you know, me trying to rhyme, be a rapper, but (laughs) hey-ho. You're welcome to the Zibby Show. It's an absolute honor to have you on the show, and I'm so, so, so thankful that you've tuned in this beautiful Sunday on our 17th episode. Can you believe it? 17 episodes already. You've been with me all along. It's been 17 whole episodes with different celebrity guests so i'm really thrilled and thank you very much for all the support i've had a very good week i mean there are some highs and some lows some tears and some laughter but i mean i guess those are just you know things that happen to us in life you know it's life is just uh, one big party when you're still young yeah that's me quoting shaggy but hey ho how have you been and did any of you go to church or the mosque today? I know a lot of people think the mosque is just for Fridays, but it's not actually. Their prayer is done on Sunday. So did you guys go? Mosque, church, temple, shrine, <laughs> whatever you believe in. Anyways, I went to church today. And if you've been following, you know I'm not currently in my city. I'm in a different city. I went to church. It was fun. You know, there was singing and dancing. And I don't know, but I'm very self-conscious when I'm in church. I've not danced in church. And sometimes I feel like I want to, but I don't know what's keeping me back there. Because I'm looking around and people are being all dancey and all sorts of moves. But I don't know. I just, I don't think I can bring myself to do it. I've tried, like today, if there was any day I was going to dance in church, it would have been today. Because, I mean, the guy that was doing the singing, he was proper getting down. Like, he was getting down in a nice Christian way, not um, an unchristian way, if you know what I mean. But he was proper getting down, and I really enjoyed the songs. But I just couldn't let go. I mean, how do you get that skill to dance in church, you know? I mean, I'm a bit self-conscious about it, because I'm thinking... What move is appropriate for church and what move is not appropriate for church? You know, I don't think grinding is appropriate for church. But I, I, I just, I wish I could let go sometimes and do that. So where do you draw that line? Because sometimes you see the weirdest moves ever. I'm not even kidding. Okay, I think it was sometime last year, I was late to church and my church is kind of far from my house. So I said, you know what? Me and my mom, we just decided to drive to a nearby church and just have Sunday service there. And when we got there... I don't know. I won't talk about the service. I didn't enjoy it. There was a lot of money talk, if you know what I mean. Like, it was too much money talk. And the pastor seemed to be, you know, throwing subs at some people. <laughs> like, I don't care what you think about me. I'm the pastor here. You know, stuff like that. It was obvious. Maybe there were some factions and some ripples going on. And he was throwing subs. Like, it went on for a very long time. There was such a long time on the money talk and everything. And at this point, I'm like, oh, Jack, maybe I should have stayed home. But then there was some singing and dancing. And man, this pastor was dancing like dancing. And when I mean dancing, it wasn't like the guy today that was, you know, bubbling in the Lord. It was a lot of real strange dancing. And at some point, the pastor actually takes one leg up on the mic. One leg up, one leg up, one leg up. I'm thinking, isn't this the song Idris Abdul Karim did some years ago? You know, the One Leg Up song. I think it was some years ago, which I absolutely love that song. For some reason, I was actually looking for that song, trying to find a way to download it. I couldn't find any. So if anyone knows how I can get that Oka Omoge song, please send it to me or let me know. So basically, the pastor was singing One Leg Up, One Leg Up, and I was shocked. And the pastor was actually doing the One Leg Up with the One Leg Up move, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So now I'm thinking... Where do you draw that line? I understand, you know, like, you know, people said David was dancing in the Lord and people thought he was crazy. I can understand that. Maybe some weird moves, but I just couldn't get over one leg up because um, when I was hearing one leg up, my mind was all secular. I was just imagining the video and I was imagining myself doing the one leg up and I'm like, no, nah, I can't be doing one leg up in church. So I said, no, the thing is, where do you draw that line? Speaking of dancing... I love to dance. I mean, if I'm at a party, I will dance, you know. I don't get it when people go out, especially in Nigeria, and then they're hanging by the corners. And when you step out to the dance floor, people are looking at you like, "Mm mm-hmm. Like, are you kidding, child? We're all in that club together. We're all as bad as each other right now. Maybe I'm even better. I don't even know. But you know what? If you want to sit down and watch people, you should do that at home and watch TV. If you're going to hang out, go to a club and dance, 
That's what you do. You dance. Anyway, so I'm just still trying to find that balance. Like what move is appropriate for church? What move is not appropriate for church? You know, how do you move without touching your neighbor? You know, especially maybe if you're going to do the um, Azonto and your hands are moving, are you going to knock your neighbor's glasses off his face or something? After church, I was walking back home and I decided to get some fruit. I saw pineapples and melons. I got them. But I don't know. I feel like I got ripped off because I never buy fruits like fruit, like, you know, apples, grapes, pears. I love that stuff, but they're so expensive in Nigeria. So I know my mom and my dad love it. So I would never, ever use my money to buy it. You know, chances are by the time I'm home, one of them have probably got it. The guy seemed so eager to sell. So I think it was like two fifty for the pineapple and two fifty for a really tiny watermelon. So I'm hoping I didn't get ripped off. But these days, because people are so dodgy and everyone is trying to take advantage of the other, whenever I get something i was like oh drugs i hope i didn't get ripped off maybe i'm paranoid or maybe i just need to learn to haggle better whichever way do not rip zb off okay moving on from that i've got some very special information which no one has to miss i should have said this at the start of the show but i got so excited you know how i always get when you know it's time to do the show plus it's 17 episodes baby i was so so carried away well this is very important information i would like to call it a huge unveiling which will be done at the end of the show so stick around you don't want to miss that trust me you don't Okay, I'm very generous today. It's Sunday. I think I'll just be good and give you a little teaser of what is to come. Don't go anywhere. Fresh. Let the conversation begin. You're welcome back. Okay, right now, I wish someone could see me. Like, I've got this huge grin. It's what you'd call grinning from ear to ear. It's absolutely huge. I'm so excited. And that was um, a jingle, which I had to, you know, take some bits and pieces out. Just so we have that suspense. So, yes. What did you hear? You heard fresh. You heard some Afrobeat music, and you heard some popular Nigerian beats. So can you put it all together? Okay, we'll wait till the end of the show. So let's move on from that to a very, very serious issue that is affecting a lot of Nigerians right now. Terrorism has reared its ugly head in Nigeria. And it's a shame because I think it's about 55 or 56 days after over 200 girls were kidnapped from school by these criminal losers who I refuse to name on my show and we're still not made aware of any progress. We keep hearing different stories and different tales and it's a bit hard to know what is true or not. But one thing we know is that those girls have not returned home. And in addition to that, innocent people in the northeastern regions of Nigeria have been killed by these same criminal cowards. It's such an appalling situation and it's really depressing because every Nigerian has a right to life. But it seems like in the Northeast, we're so used to hearing these stories. Like it seems like it's um, a whole other world. People are dying. And I hate to say this, but the government is basically asleep because they're not doing anything. And, you know, with the whole foreign troops and, you know, strategists and military intelligence, I don't know what's going on because, I mean, if... We actually had all that. I don't believe people would still be dying. So it's either these countries need to come open and tell us what they are doing to help, if they are trying to help, because it seems to me like right now these criminal losers are getting stronger. Because right now we're hearing of 200 people dying in one day. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's really, really ridiculous. It's annoying, it's depressing, and it shouldn't happen. You know, we shouldn't let this happen to people. We should be our brother's keeper. So it's really depressing to think of that. Um, And the sad part is a lot of the Nigerian media do not even report on these facts accurately. So sometimes we need to actually get information from the foreign media. 
I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, when I'm not in Nigeria, I discover I hear things faster than when I'm in Nigeria. I don't know if there's um, a system in place to keep people in ignorance. I don't get it. So it's really, really sad, and that needs to change. Also, the reports of, um, you know, the military sending their soldiers out to confiscate newspapers and seal up, you know, places like that. It's shocking because, I mean, it's 2014 and we're supposed to be in a democratic government. This is what was happening in the military regime. And people are like, oh, we're tired of the military. If anyone wants my opinion, you know what? I will state my opinion. I believe Nigeria was not ready for democracy. What we have right now, according to Africa and China, is... Well, people did demo decrease. It's not democrat, so it's demo crazy. Exactly, it's demo crazy because I don't, I don't believe like things were this bad in the military regimes. There was discipline, there was stability, there was security. Yeah, maybe people didn't have a lot of money, but hey. Do people have a lot of money now? No. Are people suffering? Yes. People have been suffering forever. So if we're going to say, okay, you know what? We're tired of the military regime. We want democracy. What has democracy done for us? Absolutely nothing. Because I think we're in a worse off situation than we were many years ago. And this is my opinion, which I will not hesitate to give anywhere. Nigeria was not ready for democracy. Nigeria was not ready for independence because, and I think those, this nation was found on so much bloodshed because, you know, when you look back at history, which is, you know, being erased and, um, what's the word now, censored, you know, a lot of people, the founding fathers of Nigeria died. I mean, these were people who, even if at that time it wasn't the right thing, they fought for independence and for freedom for us. And then we ended up killing them. You can think of people like Amadou Bello or Tafawa Belewa, you know, um, Agui Ronsi. A lot of people, a lot of leaders in this country died. So there's so much bloodshed. So I don't know if we're being haunted by that or something. But I really just hope we can all grow to a certain point where we can look beyond, um, look beyond ethnic differences and, you know, religion and learn to accept each other as one and all i believe like nigerians claim to be christians but i mean i don't think they've got that real christian thing in them just like i would say for the muslims as well they haven't got it because i don't think islam deliberately goes out to say you need to kill people you know or you need to force people to become muslims i mean we all have that free will and people should serve whatever god they want to okay you can't force people to do your own thing because you think it's right what is right to you might be wrong to another person anyways the issue i'm going to raise right now of course we're still saying bring back our girls but we're looking further than this a lot of nigerian troops have lost their lives in the struggle to return those girls to their families safe and sound to crush these criminals and give us a safer nigeria a lot of nigerian troops have died and it's a shame because they're not even named they're not even recognized you know by the media it's only their family and friends who come out once in a while and tell us about these people i've been seeing um pictures i'm sorry i'm getting a bit emotional i've seen pictures of these people i've read stories about some of them and i've decided that we need to do something for their families i mean i've put the word out there on twitter some people are very supportive some were not someone even asked me what about their pensions well guess what the pensions is between the employers and the employee we as regular nigerians could do something to help their families a lot of children are losing their fathers a lot of wives are losing their husbands who are trying to ensure that our country is safe for us and i want us all to get together start a charity fund in the uk you know there's like help for heroes you know where people donate money i think this is what we can do donate money donate whatever you can even if it's your time even if it's you know food resources clothing anything you can donate you know which we can help we, sorry which we can give to their families because i mean at the end of the day losing that stability of knowing their father and their husband is not coming back home that alone is devastating but then when you think about their children who need to have an education who need to go to school who need to eat who need to survive the pension i mean come on it's nigeria we know how these things work even in the uk where things are you know stable and you know the forces are well taken care of the public still donates to the cause so i've been asking is there any charity fund for our military families to support them and so far i've had so many responses and no one is aware of any so i'm putting the word out there officially again today is there any such thing if there isn't we should start one up so please if you're really interested in this course or if you have any information that would be helpful send me an email 
The email address is zibishow at gmail.com or you can send me a message on Twitter or tweet me at zibij or at zibishow. This is something we need to do. We owe it to them. Their husbands and fathers and sons gave their lives to defend us. We should try to take care of them in appreciation for their heroic deeds. So I'm asking again, is anyone aware of any fund for our military families? If there is one, please let me know as I would like to donate. I would like to be heavily involved in that cause. And if there isn't, we can all start one ourselves. It can only start from you and I. Let's be that change we want to see in the world. Okay, so let's move on from that. It's time for our big unveil. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I understand, you know, talking about, you know, the military families, it did bring me down a bit. But you know what? Like my man J. Ivy said, I'm on 10,000. Yes, J. Ivy is the Grammy Award winning rapper and poet who was on the Zibi show a few months ago. So let's play the full jingle and then we'll take it from there. Fresh. homegrown talent to the world follow on twitter at zibi show or log on to the website www.zibishow.webs.com let the conversation begin you're welcome back so you were just part of history being made and that is the big unveil okay so like back to the clues i gave earlier you heard the word fresh you heard afrobeat you heard popular nigerian beats what does that say the zibi show has a brand new spin-off show entitled fresh yes so fresh is basically a weekly show that showcases upcoming artists and their music to the world. So we provide a platform where everyone has a chance to listen to your music. And in addition to the music, these artists also get to show off their personalities and tell us a bit more about their music and themselves. You know, it's a new concept that we're working on and it's been in the works for a few weeks now. So just in case you're wondering where was Zibi that week she didn't do her show, chances are she was working on Fresh. So we've got a brand new spin-off show called Fresh where upcoming artists come on, showcase their music, tell us about themselves and basically it's amazing like everyone has a chance to be on the show we've already lined up some very very talented artists it's so amazing how much talent you can find out there it's something everyone is going to love the artists the fans and of course everyone who loves nigerian music so that's really really exciting i've been working on that for a few weeks okay maybe a few months <laughs> but i'm so excited about it and we're going to have our very first episode coming up really, really soon. I had been holding this in for a while, but I couldn't. I just couldn't hold it in anymore. So we're like at the 80% stage now. In a few weeks, Fresh is going to be on the air. So yay! Can you hear me clapping? That is what happens. You know, you grow. And I'm very, very grateful to you for the growth we've experienced on the Zibi Show. Thank you very much for supporting us. So that is Fresh coming up really, really soon. Next week is Father's Day and we're going to have a Father's Day special on the Zibi Show. We also have a very, very interesting um, episode of the Zibi Show based on interracial dating or interracial relationships so uh, we've had we've got our panel all set together 
and it's going to be an explosive show so we've got a lot lined up for you so don't forget our new show entitled fresh if you are not an upcoming artist or you know someone who is really talented you'd like the person to showcase their talents of course it's free on the zibi show please send me an email it's zibi show at gmail.com or you can find us on facebook.com forward slash the zibi show on twitter at zibi show or my personal twitter account at zibi j it's going to be explosive Yes, so thank you very much for tuning in. So don't forget, we've got an amazing lineup in the weeks ahead. Thank you very much for tuning in to the ZB Show. Thank you for your continued support. And let's work together to see that we can start that army fund for our military families. Have a lovely week. Aloha. Yeah.